This is a how to test the ignition control module on a 98 Audi A4 with a 1.8T AEB engine. Um, basically what this is, is uh, supposedly it's an amplifier. It gets a signal in um, and supposedly this amplifies it and sends a stronger spark to the coil. They did away with this um, I believe uh, after 99 or something to where it goes straight from the ECU to the coil. But um, I was told online how to how to do this, and I'm gonna to share it with you guys since um, videos help me, so maybe it'll help you. Uh, what you need is a, a digital multimeter. This is just a, a one and a half volt battery. Uh, obviously, the ICM, and then I have a. Um, this is a speaker terminal, female connector, and what I have is I have it um, on the uh, negative side of the battery, and then here I have two alligator clips, two sets of alligator clips. So what we want to do is try to simulate um, the power input from the ECU. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our alligator clips. We'll put it on this one. And this is cylinder number one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our black clips, put it on the voltmeter, and then we're going to connect the other end to the split and the ground coming from the battery. So now what we have essentially is a ground and we have power. This is connected obviously to the uh, positive on the battery through these means. I'm going to hook this up to this other end of this power wire. Okay, so the gray wire is coming off the battery. It's going here. Now this alligator clip is hot. We have power now in the term uh, in the ICM. And what we're going to do is we're going to check the output in ohms on cylinder number one. And we get 510. So now let's check number two. Four ninety five. Just check number three. Five oh three. And then finally the last one. Cylinder number four. At four ninety nine. Okay, so I mean if I were to run this test, if this test is conclusive, I would determine that. Uh, this ICM is good, uh, aside from the fact that the number one was a little higher than the rest. I'm not sure if that was too high. Um, what was it? I think it was about 10 to 15 higher than the rest. I think number two was 503, so it was actually only 7 ohms higher than that one. Um, but this is only 1.5 volts. Um, with a greater amount of voltage, say 4 or 5 volts, it could have been uh, greater. I'm really not sure. I don't know how conclusive this is. I have a problem where my um, my car has a misfire. If I pull the fuel injector connector at the number one fuel injector, the engine doesn't change at all. When I swap the coils, I swap the coil from one to two, two to one, and it did the same thing. So I, I believe the coils are working fine. I know it's not the spark plugs. Those are brand new. And I've swapped the, the spark plugs and it's done the same thing. So um, I figured for $17 shipped to my door, I may as well buy another ICM just in case. And I don't think it would hurt to have a spare one of these anyways. So we'll see if that fixes it. If it does fix it, then this test really isn't all that conclusive. If it doesn't, then maybe this test was, was okay. We'll have to see. I'll report back.